My name is Marcus Gilmore, and I play the drums. I come from a musical family. Growing up, my mother was singing in the church, my father was playing saxophone, and then of course it was my grandfather, who was the legendary Roy Haynes, and he's the reason why I actually decided to play drums and also got my first drum set. And uh, it wasn't until my 10th birthday that my grandfather came over with one of his drum sets from back in the day, and um, yeah, the rest is history. My first professional gig, it was like a doo-wop festival <laughs> in New Jersey at this big arena and it was all these all these people. I believe I was 13, I, I could have been 14. It was with the Cadillacs, this doo-wop doo band, um, you know, from the 60s. Yeah, that was my first paying gig and uh, it, was, it was beautiful, you know. Uh, Zildjian has always been a part of my experiences with the drums, as far as I can remember. Because when I was really young, checking out musicians in church, or when I was checking out my grandfather, they were all playing Zildjian cymbals. I didn't realize it, but it was always it was always in my mind, you know, subconscious. And then I checked out, you know, the drummers of the past, and I realized that there was a consistent theme. <laughs> and Zildjian seemed to be a part of every part of the history. Somehow, Zildjian was <laughs> was there. And then it wasn't until 2008 when I officially signed with Zildjian. But I had been playing, you know, been playing Zildjian since day one, so. These days I'm playing with a lot of different people in a lot of different situations. I've been playing primarily K Zildjian cymbals, which tend to be a uh, darker. Although when it comes to older Zildjians, I love the old case, but I, I really love the old A's as well that were made here in America. I like to think that I'm pretty open with uh, sound and, and characters and, and colors. Somehow the majority of them tend to be uh, dark. Even the thicker ones are still kind of dark for thicker symbols. And I don't know, somehow I guess that's just what really resonates with me. Even when I need a heavier symbol with more definition, it's still, it's usually a K symbol. So. Uh, that's just where I'm at. <laughs> Do you have a favorite symbol in particular that you like? No, I don't have a favorite symbol. <laughs> there are too many. Too many, too many beautiful symbols. I can't have a favorite. Sorry. <laughs>